let's talk about the concepts of description versus prescription, and especially as it, um, as it applies to access structures. Let me raise the question in a slightly different way. Um, dictionaries. You've all used a dictionary. Does a dictionary uh, describe the words that we use when we're speaking? Or does a dictionary tell us what you words we should use when we're speaking? So in other words, is a dictionary there to tell you how to do it? Or is a dictionary there to say how it is done? And I think if you'll think carefully about this question, you'll realize that, well, of course, it kind of does both. And in fact, it's even stranger than that, and it's really kind of amazing, actually, that when someone puts a word in a dictionary, they have done two things, really, simultaneously. At one, on the one hand, they wouldn't have put the word in the dictionary if it didn't describe some word that people used. On the other hand, once they put it in a dictionary, it becomes a received word. It becomes a word that is okay to use because it's in the dictionary. So we have this sort of self-fulfilling prophecy of language that says when you acknowledge a term, when you acknowledge something as being the way it's said, you're also prioritizing that, you're privileging it, you're receiving it as the right way to say it. So let's, go to, let's get now to the, um, the subject at hand, which is access structures. And are access structures prescriptive? That means, do they tell you what the right words are to use to describe this information, or are they descriptive? Are they words that we have chosen because they're the words that users are most likely to think of when they, um, when they work with the subject matter? And again, just like in a dictionary, the answer is, yeah, well, they're both. And in any case, the, um, the prescriptive value of, uh, of, a, of a classification scheme of some sort is balanced by its descriptive value. And if you try to get too far in either direction, you're going to fail with the construction of that, uh, of that device, of that structure. Uh, let's, call it, let's say it's a keyword index. And in the keyword index, you're simply trying to use words that have been used to describe this subject matter. What might you do? Well, you might, for example, turn on a full text search index because that's the kind of index, that's the kind of um, indexing routine that will give you all the words. It's very, very, very descriptive. Um, it is prescriptive in its own way because since the word was used, we realize that it's the right word to be used in a particular case, but it really goes much towards the descriptive side of the description, prescription um, uh, 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 coin, I guess you might say, two sides of the same coin. We're creating a vocabulary, we're creating it to describe, and we're creating it to prescribe. In what sense is it describing? in the sense that users must be able to recognize something of themselves in those words, in the words that you choose to create an index, to create an outline, to create the hot text of, a, of an association between two things. All of those are uses of words that we choose specifically because of their descriptive and prescriptive uh, qualities. Descriptive because they have to be recognizable to the user. Prescriptive because we want the user to be constantly learning from the interaction of our system what the appropriate way to describe things are. If they already knew all the appropriate ways to describe things, then they probably wouldn't need our system, right? They'd be the one writing the system because they're the experts. So it sort of brings up a, um, a dichotomy that is played out over and over again in information systems, and that's the dichotomy between learning and finding. In order to find, you need to see something recognizable. In order to learn, it can't all be recognizable, can't all be what you already know, because then you wouldn't learn anything. You wouldn't learn anything new. So we're using the descriptive as a hook, let's say, to get people to the prescriptive. Uh, and the access structure, I think, that illustrates this the best, really, is the hierarchy. A hierarchy is really a set of terms or phrases or words that are organized in a parent and child relationship that are meant to slice a particular info base up into the right categories. Now, when I, as soon as I say the word the right categories, you realize that I'm talking about prescription. Not the categories necessarily that the user would think to put them into, but categories that are what the experts who created the system believe the information falls into. That's very, very prescriptive. And in fact, you can, you, if, if you ever wanted to learn what was in a book, you didn't know what was in the book before, you weren't really familiar with the words of the book, what would you do to get a, as quick as possible view of what's in that book and learn, basically, what the terminology is that describes the stuff in that book? Of course, you would use the table of contents. 
So the table of contents stands as the device that prescribes to you, the device that tells you how it is. Now, of course, if the table of contents is completely incomprehensible, then there's no way you're going to be able to learn from it because it's too far from you. So access structures in general and hierarchies very much in particular are a delicate balance between using the words that most appropriately describe this info base and using the words that users will understand or users will recognize. Now we also have specific <clears throat> devices within access structures that allow us to kind of play the margins. For example, in an index, how can you incorporate words that the user might know but are not the appropriate words for the info base? You don't want those words to be uh, to be thought of as the appropriate words, but you still realize that the user uses those words. You want to be descriptive of the user's mental state, but at the same time you want to prescribe the correct word to use. And of course, if you think about a book table, a book index, not so much web indexes, unfortunately, but in book index, you see the word C. So for example, I might say um, anteater, C aardvark because I don't believe the word anteater is the appropriate word, but I do recognize that it's descriptive of the way you've come to this info base. So I say anteater, C aardvark, telling you A, I recognize that that's a word that you might use, and B, it's not the correct word, the correct word that we use in this info base is aardvark. So, access structures have a descriptive property and a descriptive property, and your job in creating access structures is to balance the descriptive which is reaching out to the user and using what the user already knows versus the prescriptive, which is telling the user how it ought to be.